the second course, Finding Your Voice. Ooh, okay. And the topic I'd like for you to discuss is metaphor. Mm. Uh, there are plenty of metaphors I can name off hand. Yes. Are you being thrown back to fifth grade English right now? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yes. I won't quiz you on the difference between a metaphor and a simile. Please don't. <laughs> which most of us were taught wrong, by the way. <laughs> well, so describe a metaphor. Um, well, the thing about metaphor is, is that it's a collision, right? It's mm -hmm. two things that are seemingly unrelated, and all of a sudden we throw them together, and now we've got all these textures. So the way we're, we're talking about metaphor in this course, which was such, such a revolution for me. I mean, I, I come to this work, and now I'm so embedded in this work because I thought I knew something. Uh, and, you know, it's sort of like discovering your church has, like, 3,000 other rooms that you never saw. So metaphor, uh, you know, here's one that, that I love um, that actually came from Pat's book, uh, which is great, and I, I did some writing on this one, right? So you have two things that seem sort of unrelated, right? Falling in love, Las Vegas. I mean, maybe those things could happen at the same time, actually. <laughs> Be careful. <laughs> Be careful the next time you're in Vegas. Uh, but falling in love and Las Vegas, right? So you have these two things that are seemingly unrelated, and then we create a collision where we can put them together. So let's, uh, we can talk about it like uh, in a musical language, which is sort of uh, we call in the key of. So let's say we're in the key of Las Vegas. So what are all the things that happen in Las Vegas, right? All the things we associate in a sense-bound way. So if I say Las Vegas to you, what comes to mind? Bright lights, um, noise. Right, bright lights, good. You went right to noise. So the clinking of mm -hmm. coins in the slot, uh, the shrieks of winning, the sobs of losing, right? Mm -hmm. What's happening in the body? All that anticipation, the goosebumps yeah. coming up, you know, maybe some sweat on your brow when mm -hmm. you go up to the High rollers Escalated table. Heartbeat. Right. Maybe you're a little drunk because the more you gamble, <laughs> you get the free drinks. Um, again, be careful. Um, so, so that's that's our key, right? Those are all the things we have available to us. All these sensual things related to Las Vegas. But what we're going to write about through that lens or in that key is falling in love. So I'm going to grab some of that language and I'm going to talk about, um, you know, the first time I saw him, uh, I. You know, I felt sweat on my brow and wondered if the gamble would be worth it. How much was I risking? Uh, her smile glittered like uh, the, you know, like the biggest win at the, of chips at the mm -hmm. high rollers table. Right? So then all of a sudden we have all this information that we can color this topic. So, and then we can obviously reverse it. Right? So we're doing a ton of really uh, specific metaphor work and creating all these collisions that just kind of blow your mind. Does that make sense? Totally makes all sense. All right, good. Yeah. I want your writing assignment as soon as we're done. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> Let's do another metaphor. Um, okay, one, uh, here's another one that I really love. Uh, ocean, angry God. Okay, hmm. right? So let's look at, uh, let's write in the key of angry God about the ocean. So what what do we have available to us when we talk about angry God? What does an angry God do? Thunder. Maybe. Thunders, exactly. <laughs> Thunders, um, bellows, growls, swallows whole cities, mm. um, rages, uh, foams at the mouth, uh, has vendettas, has grudges, uh, is all-knowing, right? Mm -hmm. So we have all of this stuff now available to us that we can write about the ocean. The ocean is an angry god, okay? That's fine enough, but let's move on. The ocean thundered. The ocean growled. Uh, the ocean uh, had a vendetta against this city that it would never let go of. Mm -hmm. So all of a sudden, we've got all this information that we can use. So, yeah, the brain says, well, you know, the ocean's not, uh, the ocean's not an angry god. It's an ocean, right? But when we start opening ourselves to these unlikely collisions. Mm -hmm. um, they can happen in any way, right? The rude ocean, the stubborn ocean, mm -hmm. um, you know, the falling in love ocean, the Las Vegas ocean, right? We can go from any of those lenses and all of a sudden we have all this material that bubbles up from which to write about, which is, I think, uh, in all of my experience as a writer, really unique. Mm 